Hi guys, today we'll talk about two heaps coding pattern. The same way we will start when we have to use this coding pattern and then we will talk about what part. In what we will first look at some example, we'll discuss that. Then we will look at some rules and then we will look at some template its template is not so complicated we can see and then we can apply all the similar questions that could be solved using two heaps coding pattern i have mentioned few of them this is the they all are from uh, lead code so you may practice them this is the number of lead code question it is their description so first we have to find median from data stream then find right interval then sliding window median, then IPO is maximize capital from the given projects and minimum cost to hire K workers. There could be some other questions also that could be solved using two heaps. So what we will learn, let me explain why again, I'm going to explain this part again for the coding pattern, why we were going to learn coding pattern. There is a specific reason for this. When we learn coding pattern, we get the skill of abstraction. And what is abstraction? It is about, so abstraction is actually getting rid of details. This is abstraction. What actually that will be? Let me come up with some example. Let's suppose if I will say, it's a pretty vague example just to make some understanding. Let's suppose I learned some coding pattern that tells me this question is a triangle. This question belongs to a triangle family. And we learn some coding pattern that tells us that this question belongs to some square, a rectangle family, some, let's suppose, coding pattern as a circle. When we get the skill to understand some particular coding patterns, we in future, if you will get some question, which is not exactly like triangle, but let's suppose its shape is something like this. If you will go into the in, into the depth, it will look like some sinusoidal waves and we will try to find that particle solution for this question. But if we go through coding pattern and we, we improve our skill, we will actually improving the skill of abstraction. We never look the question from its details at the very outset. We first try to get and understand its structure. That's what if I will get, get rid of its details, it will actually make, there will be little similarity with triangle. The same way, if I will get some question in future, which is not might be exactly a scare, that this is something of different shape with too many details. And if we have the skill of abstraction, we lift ourselves to high abstracted uh, level so that we can see that we can see the structure, the skeleton of the particle question. If I get rid of the details, I can make a picture of oh, that question is quite similar with the particular square shape question if i get rid of details of that question this is the main benefit of learning coding pattern all right now let's go with the same question we will learn its when part when we have to use two heap coding pattern we have to use two heap coding pattern when let's suppose some input was given and we can divide that input in such a way that the obtained two parts, we can divide the given elements. And when we divide that, so from one part, we have to get maximum and the other part, we have to get the minimum. For the sake of example, let's suppose we have to six, eight, 10, 12, and 15. We have to find the median. So actually what we are talking about, if we split it into two parts, two, six, eight, and 10, 12, 15, 
we actually looking the max element from the one part and we are looking min element from the other part so that shape will be something like that which we were talking about in such type of question we have to use two heap pattern we will talk about what actually it is second so this is the first type second they're actually the same but in a different way they were being spoken second when let's suppose some element was given suppose a person and it has two properties let's suppose uh, skills and salary if we think about these two properties they look like skills and salary they are directly proportional if someone has more skills we consider that he is going to get maximum salary so in any question when some element contains two properties which are directly proportional to each other and some company want such a relation such a scenario where they were trying to find what will be the use case when salary is minimum and skills are maximum in such cases we have to use let's suppose so here he is talking about um, maximum skills and he is trying to find minimum salary in such cases again we have to use two heap coding pattern now we'll talk about what actually two heap coding pattern we talk about the what part it's quite simple the first thing we look at the example suppose we had to find the median in case of two six eight ten twelve fifteen suppose to find the median we for the even numbers when we have even number that will be the average of eight and ten the median eight plus ten divided by two and in case of odd numbers suppose there is in that case this will be the required median so we can see that this uh, this question is being split into two parts the first part which contains a maximum element let's suppose from here if i talk about i i tell about the odd numbers also so in this case you can see this is the maximum number from the one part and on the other part this is the minimum number so this is a two heap uh, this is the same use case for here but we are only interested in the one part from the left now let's talk about what will be the rules actually we already discussed about its rules the same we already discussed that we can divide elements we can divide the numbers and the second rule uh, from one part we were looking let's say from one part we want main and uh, the other part we were looking for max and also i explain some cases when some element contains two properties p1 and p2 p1 is directly proportional to p2 but we want to find min of p1 and want to get actually max of p2 in those cases we have to use our two he coding pattern and let's go for the template i we go with some example and we draw our template actually let's suppose initially some company gives us some capital capital zero we don't have any money and we were limited to complete two projects so k equal to two we had to complete two projects we were given c capital to complete to start some project suppose zero one one and with the respective project we will get the benefit of one two and three so the mapping is something like that so we will to come to start the project uh, at the first index which will give the profit one we it needs capital zero and uh, to complete this second project we 
will get the benefit, we get the profit of two, and it requires only one as a capital. Similarly for the last project, it will give the result, it will give the profit of three, and it requires to, to it requires only capital one. So how we can actually first how how we will identify that actually this is the question that should be used by two heap pattern again capital and uh, profit they looks directly proportional to each other these uh, these two are properties of uh, some project we can see the pro project has capital and it has profit and we want to get minimum capital and want to get maximum profit of it we want minimum capital and maximum profit so this indicates we have to go and use our two heap coding pattern and how we will use that the template say the first step we have to use min heap for the element which we want to minimize so in case capital and second we have to use a max heap so two heaps will be used as his name suggests and max heap will be used for the element which we want to maximize in this example it is profit that capital could be investment in some question it could be uh, might be some input or it could be anything uh, that could be a property of some single element and in investment we want to get more uh, benefit let's suppose and output maximum output we want to get so this is the same actually we can uh, you know make a make a generic understanding any two properties which are directly proportional and we have to find the relation with, in which we get mini, minimum of one and maximum of other Okay, second, what we'll do in the second step, we will fill our min heap, in this case for sure with the capital. And in the third step, we will iterate on all elements, on all. And what we will do, so I write down the example here again. So we have capital zero, one, one, and project was, which was giving the profit of one, two three initially we have uh, capital zero and maximum limit we can do the project too what we'll do for sure in our case we have only this option we can only choose this project because this is the capital we have currently right now so we will go we will i trade and uh, uh, whatever the capital minimum we have we will this so in, in the first case in the first iteration we already filled our min heap this is the first step and uh, in max heap is currently empty it doesn't contain anything it's empty now when we are iterating we'll pick our first element and we'll see that this capital is according to our provided capital so it is zero it is less than equal to that so for sure we can pick the project which could be started with that capital and we'll pick it its profit and put it in the maxi so we'll pick this project so one will be here now we will we will dq this uh, because we already put the capital get the profit so we'll dq that and in our case first project we completed with zero capital and we get the profit one now in our uh, capital we have one and we can invest that so now we will see this is the mean heap in our case and max heap has nothing right now because we already uh, did this project and get the profit of one so now what we'll do we can see uh, we have our capital one and in the min heap we have uh, two projects that can be started with the capital one you'll put them 
both of them in this maxi. So first will be added, that will be two. And then second will be added and we will put three because this is a maxi and two will go down. Now we will pick our uh, pick our min heap capital from the top and we will get the max from the here. So we will get second project which requires capital one and that will give the profit of three. We will do two projects first on index zero and second on index two. These two projects we will do. So in this way we can solve many many questions but I can show the list we have right now you can try to solve these questions by yourself you can go and try these questions you can see you will find a sense of a two heap in these questions like find median from the data stream find right interval sliding window median so for sure this is every every window is taking using two heap and for sure we'll utilize the old value also and here maximize capital and minimum cost to hire k workers it is something like the one we discussed in the last uh, template so that's it thank you